Well, hello, everybody. It is Sam again, aka the train main, my sandas and pandas. It's uh, Christmas time, and it is uh, one day shy of the one year anniversary of the layout. And I promised you a Christmas special one year anniversary, and you got it. Um, credit card, you got it, you know, from Home Alone. Uh, by the way, just got back from the world premiere of Star Wars Episode 7, and it was absolutely fantastic. So I highly recommend that. Um, go check that out right away. J.J. Abrams did a brilliant job. Um, so, in other news, uh, we've made a lot of progress once again. Some very grandiose updates, so let's jump right in. Um, I got myself a Christmas present. Uh, actually, well, my aunt asked me if I wanted it, and she bought it for me because she's got lots of dough. Uh, Dremel 4000. Uh, came with all the little attachments. Got some buff sander round joint maneuvers. A um, couple other attachments, too. Uh, metal and or plastic and or foam uh, shaving tools. Um, so if you look at the rocks now... I've really been able to get in there, especially over here, and actually start to make it look like it's going to be real rock when we paint it. I'm beyond happy and impressed with how well it's beginning to come out. Um, it, you can kind of see it. Just wait till it's painted, though, but I mean, it already looks like a thousand times better than before we had even touched it. And it was very hard to do by hand with sandpaper because, you know, even though this is all held together very well, it's uh, still very fragile. It's only foam. Um, so did a lot the Dremel 4000 it's about 250 bucks it was on sale on Amazon I believe because I looked it up when I got it in the mail for like 130 so she hooked me up and it paid off big time um, we started filling in more foam down here so little by little this whole section is you know it starts up higher tapers in and we've kind of almost got it to fill in most of where it's gonna be over here um, I haven't taken to uh, the Dremel yet on any of these little parts, but I did a lot in here. Um, you can almost kind of tell where I did and where I didn't. Um, obviously where it looks more legitimate um, is where I did. Um, so I also, uh, if you remember, for the longest time, there was this switch went up here. There was a line that went to nowhere yet. Then a switch went off here. And came down to where it connected to a switch that went to these two uh, by the new little mine shaft section zone. Um, I didn't like the track running down the center like that, just parallel. And I wanted to, uh, you know, kind of make this section its own. So I put that switch down in here now. So on the interior main line, um, this switch will go to something eventually. Nothing in the middle yet. And then it now runs down here. I have to get another right hand turnout. Um, I'm going to put right here and uh, probably taper all the land in towards this way somehow. And I'm thinking we're going to put like the little mine shaft area probably in the wall or mountainside, I guess, somewhere in this area, you know, once we kind of fill it in. So it's definitely going to look more legitimate. I'm very happy with how it came out. Uh, this track follows the contour now pretty well, which is kind of how I measured it up to be. Um, I can actually run right now too. I got power hooked up because I cleaned up the layout a lot, vacuumed it all, and got a lot of dust off, just so I could. So yeah, it looks a lot nicer. Um, still debating if I'm going to put another, you know, siding just to go along here, or maybe just one on the outside, um, to fill it in a little bit more, add one more track. Um, I also considered potentially having a switch come off the straighter on the turn here, and, you know, maybe put one or two tracks in here coming off that side. And then, like I said, again, still tapering it all in here, so it would still be its own mining little section with more buildings and a mine shaft thing. Um, and it would be kind of cool, maybe, if I decide to do it, because it would be served from this side. Still on the same line, but then from that side. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but it was an idea I had. Um, did some more work on filling in down here with the uh, other mine shaft, a different style section. I uh, haven't really touched this at all, just been putting foam down broad looking and putting it in place um, so I'm still yet to take a Dremel to that and make it look more defined and professional as uh, this side 
Um, but I mean, you could see just the depth. Just a you could see it slopes down once we fine tune it. Uh, put ground cover and ballast and paint and trees and blah blah blah. A couple more buildings and I mean, it's gonna look amazing. Um, got this little. Uh, it was four bucks I wanted on eBay. This little paddle wheel house thing. So I'm gonna add it over to this scene because we're gonna put that creek in a little pond here too. So you know, however, flip it around so it'll actually you know have a purpose. I guess for four bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Um, and then I also I believe for eight dollars uh, took a chance on a unit that someone posted on eBay from an estate. They didn't test it, and I want it for seven dollars free shipping. Uh, it's a Burlington. Um, I can't read it. My eyes are bad. Burlington Northern. Uh, I like the big numbers, the old school green, silver paint scheme, um, and it does in fact run, and I'm very happy with that. So for uh, under fifteen dollars, I got a new building and this new engine. Uh, so miniature Christmas gifts to myself. It's a little noisy. It's missing a back coupler, but for under ten dollars, you know the lights still work. It's got great detail. I like the big numbers. Uh, I don't know, it's probably dust on the track. It's been really sensitive to that, but it's nice. So yeah, um, one more thing I did want to show you guys. Um, I'm still waiting. I bought new wood and lumber, and I'm going to reinforce this table so the track doesn't flex and the, everything is completely perfectly level. And we're going to finish up this section, but uh, if you could tell by looking at this tapered edge right here, um, big thing we wanted to be able to do was uh, have access to the track so you can see how we built the tunnel it's completely in place now and perfect um, obviously I didn't do it right and started building it instead of cutting the pieces measured beforehand so we literally had to chisel and make the tunnel completely by hand you know kind of ass backwards but it would be a learn um, but now uh, I mean this top is gonna be removable once we finish filling in this side we'll you know make more of this permanent like down here and then some part of the section will be lifting up and it will be uh, camouflaged in there by this lip you can see we already started to kind of abut it so you won't see the actual mark in the background um, but it will be removable and you know like I said match well on the scenery um, so yeah that's pretty much all the progress like I said buildings and engines and you know more track changes for the better Dremel I mean like I said I can't get over how good all this rock and everything looks but hey you know progression so this has been the uh, Christmas special uh, pray for snow in the Midwest thank all you guys for uh, subscribing um, cracked 2,000 total views on the account got two more subscribers in the last week um, Appreciate everyone, you know, tuning in and showing interest and whatnot. Um, again, subscribe or if you got videos, I'll check them out. I'll subscribe back, likes, comments, all that good stuff. Tips or tricks, Tony Hawk style, let me know what's good. Uh, always looking to improve or if you want advice or questions on how I'm doing things. Uh, it's what I'm here for. It's why I'm making these videos so I can go back and watch and see too. Um, and yeah, I uh, hope you all have a good holiday. And uh, like I said, just thanks again. I appreciate the watch. Uh, whether it's one minute or the whole thing of all nine or ten videos. We'll call this one 8.5. You know, that's what my buddy said. 8.5. Some good updates, but it's just more of a courtesy call. So, again, thank you guys all. Appreciate it. And uh, we will get back to you, uh, if not before, right around the new year. A couple weeks from now. And uh, train main, plane, blaze on. Santa Claus is coming, leave him his cookies and everything. Uh, you know, this video is so warm and fuzzy, I don't want to end it. What do I do? Oh, no. Okay. Well, Merry Christmas. The train main. Pick up